I didn't feel like doing my hair today and I just took a shower. So we're gonna let my hair air dry and we're just gonna ignore my split ends and my uneven hair for the sake of the video. What's poppin' everybody? Today I'm back. As you guys can see from the title of today's video, we are going to be doing a story time, smoke with me. I wish I had like a better title for these, like something cute but not corny just cute but you know what it, it is what it is it's a smoking story time i don't really have much as an intro let's just go ahead and get into this so before we get into this i want to say a big thank you to 2020 high future they gave me a bunch of stuff at least 10 pre-rolls edibles everything they have also gave me like some little wax but i'm not really like I'm not really like that experienced in smoking and stuff, so I don't know what to do with this. The joints are fire, the edibles are fire. When I ate the edibles, I literally thought like I was drugged. I was like breathing on manual. I can't make this up and I had to ask them. I was like, dude, what the fuck is in this? So I never really finish a joint by myself because I would be super, super high. So we have about like half of it here. So we're just gonna smoke that. People get so mad at me in my smoke with me videos because they're like, oh, you only took two hits. You can't title this a smoke with me. And I was like, did I smoke? Yes or no? Yes. So I'm gonna title it whatever the fuck I wanna title it. Later a day, thank me later. Okay, so I don't know if I'm just like really high, but I swear. <laughs> I swear I'm like making eye contact with these people in the apartments across from me. But I'm also super blind, so I may be looking at like a tree. Uh, today we're doing a story time. I always feel like I have a lot of story times, but it's just like most of them are from a long time ago. So my memory is like really foggy. I literally have like the memory of like a two year old. This story time actually <laughs> took place like less than a week ago. It was, it was honestly really scary. It was a really scary experience. <laughs> and that's also why I don't really like doing story times because a lot of the story times that you guys ask for bring up like Loki, like trauma. And I'm like, I don't, don't really want to deal with that right now. So I don't think we're going to. So he has a little seltzer toy. And I have a little seltzer. I went to the Bad Bunny concert. This was literally like such a last minute thing. Um, some of my friends had hit me up and said that they had extra tickets. So I was like, fuck it, let's go. And so it turns out the tickets were actually like second row tickets, which means that we were pretty close. Like I could see a lot of details on Bad Bunny and I'm freaking blind. We're having a good time. The whole concert was actually like pretty chill um he started it was literally like the longest concert of my life bad bunny came out at 9 40 ish he literally doesn't stop until like midnight which is a long time to be standing there like in heels so i had to like sit down a couple times and then i felt bad because i didn't even know any of his songs i mean regardless of all that it was still like a really fun and cute time and he's a great performer and it was a really great experience so now his concert is over i would say it's around midnight and i'm like finally we get to go home so we're waiting for everybody to leave i would say it gets around to like 12 30 and that's when we start walking out and it's like 30 degree weather this is my outfit i am freezing like i'm in i'm in so much pain we start getting really cold so we call the uber and we have to go to like the little rideshare area which is again all the way across so there we are walking in the freaking cold we get to the rideshare area the uber has been called it keeps like getting delayed and it's like really hard for people to find their ubers there's like a big group of people that are just waiting for the ubers that are like stuck outside of the forum so our uber like keeps saying that it's two minutes there but then like they make the wrong turn and now it's like 10 minutes there so it keeps like pushing back time it had already been like an hour of us waiting for our uber i was freezing so bad that i literally had to buy like one of the little knockoff merch shirts in the little rideshare area they also have like these taxis and stuff like that like the escalades like the private driver type of things so there's this like older man and he keeps coming up to like my friends and i and he's like you guys look so cold he keeps telling us to like get in his car we look so cold circle we look so cold our uber isn't coming like 
like all this shit and he probably comes to tell us the same thing like 10 different times and every single time we're saying like no because it's giving like weird vibes to us and our uber is on the way so it's not like we really needed a ride it gets to be around like 1 a.m that's when we uh decide to cancel the uber and we're just gonna take like one of the drivers there because there were other drivers or we were just gonna try to figure something out but fact of the matter was our uber was not getting there like, the crowd has dwindled down to like the last few stragglers who couldn't get their ubers so we're all kind of just like figuring out like what to do how we're gonna get home because we are tired and cold and we don't want to be there anymore so there are like some other people People there that are saying like they'll give rides and stuff like that like you could take their car and there's this lady there who seems nice and she says that she could take us downtown for $50 because that's what the uber was gonna be so we were like okay like let's just do that we follow this lady to her car a red Toyota RAV4 I remember this because I thought I was gonna have to tell the police this and we follow her to her car and I'm so happy to just like sit down and like be somewhere warm and she uh, tells me to cash up her the $50 so that we could get home and at first i was like yeah okay i'll cash out for two but then i'm like people use cash out for like illegal things so i start looking around the car and i realize like there's no uber sticker on her car there's no lyft sticker on her car. nothing like that it is literally just us in some lady's car that I cash up, just trusting that she's gonna take us home. I'm sitting in the front seat, right? So I'm like alone. And I'm kind of like, damn, like this is, this feels weird. So that's just like thinking in like the back of my head, right? She gets all situated, we're getting ready to leave. She puts in my address and then she's like, oh, I'm just gonna make a call really quick, uh, just to my homeboy. And I was like, what do you need to call him for like what are you gonna tell him she calls her homeboy and she's like hey i just wanted to say you know i'm leaving the forum there's still some people there you should go check out uh we're headed downtown right now i picked up this really cool group of four really cool girls we're taking them downtown and yeah i'll, I'll, I'll let you know when we get there tell me that series of events is not just creepy as Fuck. So in my head, I'm like, why does she just tell? I could hear the man on the phone. What does he need this information for? Like, why does he need to know where we're going? What time we'll be there? How many girls are in the car? Like four cool girls. I was like, goddamn, like I'm, I'm about to be sold. I was literally pulsing with like nerve. It was so crazy, and I had my hand on like the the car thing the entire time, and I rolled down the window, and then she starts putting the music like really loud on the car and i'm like calling everybody in my contact list you know so i turn the music down and i'm like oh can you lower this like i'm on the phone and she's like oh okay and then like i'm off the phone and then she turns it up like i listen to music like pretty loud but like this was like insanely loud and i had no idea why but i turned it down again and then this lady's like oh like I thought you guys were coming from a concert like I thought you guys would want to listen to something loud and I thought you guys like wanted to have fun and I was like did this bitch is she trying to kill me and call me boring like this is not happening so I'm still calling everybody I'm like making sure she knows that like I am <laughs> watching her so I was telling all my friends I was like checking my location like please I was literally like on the phone with no one answering for like the first five whole minutes i start mapping to my house to make sure that she goes the right way and everything and we're getting onto the freeway and she gets on the wrong freeway we were supposed to go north and she went south i'm like we're on a completely different different direction here like my house is that way is your homeboy this way like what is going on so i'm like mapping it. i'm like you know making sure my mapping is refreshing and i'm like oh like uh where are you gonna get off at and she's like oh that was so confusing like something like that some bullshit i was like okay so where are you gonna get off or are you gonna take like else to go no she's like oh like my map said something else and i was like just <laughs> girl do what I'm telling you, please, for like both of our sakes. So she gets off on El Segundo and she's finally like on the way, the right way, back to my house. So now we're like two minutes away from my house. We're getting ready to get off the freeway to like the downtown exits and everything. And I'm like, oh, like we made it home. Like we're fine. We didn't get killed. But then another thought came into my head. I'm like, wait, who is at my house? 
Like, did she give this man my address? Like, is someone just gonna come out and like put a pillowcase on my head and like try to kill me when I get here? Like, what is, what is about to happen? So, I'm ready. I'm sitting there thinking like I'm gonna be popping on my nails. Like, you know, like not going down without a fight. While this is all still in my head, I realized like we're on my street and there are no other cars or people there. And I was like, thank God. And we got home safe. And once we got inside, we all agreed that we got kidnapper scary lady vibes oh so, yeah that's my whole story if there's anything you guys can get from this it's just really be careful do not be getting into no fake ubers like even if you do end up fine like the stress that i went through like it <clears throat> it was pretty crazy for me so yeah that's it for my story time thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time